I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. Hey guys, my name is Shivy2142, and today we have an MP7 double Moab on hard hat. I mean, I'm wearing a hat. Yeah, never mind. This isn't Call of Duty, this is Team Fortress 2. And just thinking about that, I'm not really sure the equivalent of a Moab. What that would be in Team Fortress 2, maybe a flawless King of the Hill round with a whole bunch of air shots and maybe a double air shot? I don't really know. As for the gameplay today, it's going to be some soldier and then I'll be switching to heavy on rock top. And the topic of today's commentary is going to be favorite foods. Before diving into this commentary topic, I wanted to do some research on why people like certain foods. So the first thing I found was genetics. People experience different flavors in all sorts of ways. I guess there are a few receptor genes that vary from person to person because while we do have pretty similar DNA, there are small changes that make us all unique and special. Another influential factor, which I can't say is true or not, so maybe you should ask your mother, because babies who are not born yet are predisposed to liking foods their mother ate while they were pregnant and while breastfeeding as well. So maybe your mother ate a lot of chocolate when she was pregnant before she had you. And now that you're born and awesome and you're watching my video, you're addicted to chocolate sauce. I, I just don't know if that's true. In my case, that might be true. I, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Another factor that makes sense to me is culture. So you might not like extremely bitter or spicy foods the first time tasting them, but you can come to tolerate or even crave them with repeated exposure by being around people who enjoy those foods. Kind of interesting, so maybe you have a bunch of friends that love spicy food and they always take you to Chipotle and I don't know, and then you just kind of love having spicy food. Maybe that's true. I think that could be a factor, yeah. The last two factors that I found were gender, so I guess women crave more chocolate while men like more salty foods, and texture. So science can't really explain this yet, but some people hate gritty or slimy or creamy foods, and I guess for me that is true. Something that I really didn't like, but I'm starting to like is mushroom. At first I'm like, ugh, but now I'm like, uh-huh, because I tried them sauteed or grilled Give them a little more of a crunchy flavor instead of just a mushy like, ugh, what is going on there? Kind of like a female's private parts, zing, okay, moving on. Other foods I really enjoy, I'd say blueberries. If you have blueberries like a smoothie, oh my god, best thing ever. I start my morning almost every day with a blueberry smoothie because it's just easy on the stomach, it tastes great, and just gets me going. Sort of like I get this minigun going as I lay waste to everyone. Once again, this map is King of the Hill Rock Top A3. It's one of my favorites just because of all the different terrain and the vertical factor that for like soldiers, you can rocket jump, you can really move around well. So I think soldier is probably one of the strongest classes you can play on this map. Also, if you play a pretty good spy, you have a lot of options. Since you can walk around the little barn house on the point, not a lot of people know that, you can actually walk around the edge. So you have a lot of choices and where you wanna go and stab people in the back. With that said, that is the last time I die during this round. Ooh, little segue there, because I could die for a plate of chips and salsa. With the crunch of the chip, and maybe a little salt, depending on what kind of chip you have, maybe a pita chip, or a potato chip, or a tortilla chip, you can also have some salsa, which has some vegetables, could have some spice, or it could be mild, depending on how saucy you are. It's just a great overall little snack. Other items I really enjoy eating, like dual medic healing, oh snap, would be a burrito. There's just something about holding it in your hand and just eating whatever it might contain, and it's just so filling. Like you can put you know, any kind of bean in there, your meats, your salsa, your chips, your cheese, some lettuce, maybe a little avocado or some guac, just so good. Just like completely denying the spy that backstab, that is one thing you need to do, especially as heavy, is I always face forward when I'm fighting a spy because basically he won't be able to backstab you if he can't get a shot at your back. Yeah, depending on lag compensation. Station. He might get a face stab on you or a side stab, but chances are your best bet is to face him straight up and just go for it because the knife doesn't really do that much, just as a little slash. And it's time for the question of the video. Question of the video to you, the viewer. Leave a comment below. What are your favorite foods? 
or foods you really don't like. So either foods you really love or you hate. Yeah, so let me know. Red team ends up winning. I am top scoring like a mouse. And I also love peanut butter. Peanut butter is just great. I'd also add grilled chicken breasts and maybe some rum because I'm a pirate. Make sure you're hitting that like button, the one pointing up, because if this video gets 1500 likes, I'll do a favorite loadouts and a how you see damage tutorial video.